This is your TLDR guide to Burrow Besieged Part 2. So after a spectacular community day, I got my uh, Central Park page to bronze and then got it to silver, which is good. Uh, which is more than I was actually expecting. So yes, a very good day, a very long day. Uh, Slightly like my first live stream as well. Uh, if you want to see what that is, yes, up there. But anyway, we're on a time limit, so it's time to talk Burrow Besiege Part 2, which starts on April the 21st at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 7 p.m. British Summer Time, and then ends on April 28th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 7 p.m. British Summer Time. So what's so special about this one? Well, we have the following at the moment, Confoundables increased. So Confoundables are the ones which are stopping you from getting the foundables. Uh, so they are listed on the left, I'm not going to bore you with the details of what they are because it really doesn't matter, to be fair. Uh, out of all of them, I only need the sorting hat. Uh, the rest of them I've got anyway, and I imagine probably most of you are in the same situation. So things to prepare before the event starts. To ensure you have one trace detection tonic available, I imagine that you're brewing them all right now. So, uh, brewing like crazy after the previous event. So tonic for trace detection, have at the ready. Now the set of tasks requires a number of potions to be brewed, more than the four slots you have in your normal cauldron. So if you want to mission through the event like crazy, uh, you will need to use a gold cauldron if you want to mission right from task one right through to the bonuses in one go. So to start with, get a trace detection tonic brewing and two additional potions of your choice. Uh, ensure they are ready to collect at the beginning of the event, but don't collect them until I say so, or the tasks say so really. And then if you want to mission in through the event, uh, rent a gold cauldron and brew four additional potions of your choice. Also do not collect them. So our free store pack will contain the six Bainbury, four Bulbadox juice, four Angel's Trumpets, two Rampant Horns and 25 Spell Energy, which is basically one trace detection tonic ingredients. Our rewards are earn up to 15 restricted section books and earn up to eight spell books uh, I need 18 to complete my profession entirely. Uh, and three silver keys and two dark detectors and 50 gold. You know, I thought it was going to be warmer than this, but it's actually not that warm out here right now. <laughs> so the Foudables, the wild ones. We have young Ginny Weasley and the flying Weasley car. Uh, I'm sure the Weasley car is there just to make you feel really bad about never seeing a Weasley car in the wild normally. Uh, so you need 15 of those. The task based ones. So that's the denoming gloves. Uh, if you haven't read the books, uh, these are used to clean your garden from gnomes. So basically you need to pick them up, spin them around and then throw them over the fence to get them really dizzy so it takes them a while to find their way back. And then the final task one is Arthur Weasley's shed. The porky ones, you need five of these and those are the burrow signs. And then the bonus challenge slash uh, wizarding challenges depending on your region and whether you can actually do them right now, uh, that's Errol the Owl. And you need three of those. So now we can move on to the tasks. If you don't want to know what those tasks are, you can skip the number here, and that will skip past those and give you the general tips. So set of task one is brew one potion, return at three brilliant wheezy flying cars, and collect ingredients and portmanteaus from the map two times. So these are nice and easy. You can collect your pre-brewed uh, additional potion here from your normal cauldron. So set of task two, return at five foundables guided by gnomes, Brew one tonic for trace detection and pick up ingredients from the map three times. So nice and easy, this is where you pick up your pre-brewed trace detection tonic. That's really hard to say. Set of task three, this is where it gets more fun. Uh, this is the brew five potions, uh, return seven at young Ginny Weasleys and it used tonic for detection. So set of task three, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. You need to brew five potions, return seven brilliant young Ginny Weasleys and use tonic for trace detection twice. Uh, so if you're in the rush mode right now, uh, you can uh, collect your final uh, potion from your normal cauldron and then your four additional potions in your gold cauldron. If you're not doing that, then pick up that one additional potion, which should leave your queue nice and clear, and then uh, brew up four additional potions. Set of task four, collect 20 foundable fragments, any foundable fragments, uh, return seven brilliant guarded by gnome foundables and collect ingredients from all portmanteaus from the map one time. Seems easy enough to me. So bonus round slash set five, uh, because 
you can't get a fortress, you need to do this one. Earn 7,500 was in XP. It doesn't take very long. Uh, return 30 brilliant fandibles. Uh, return 5 high threat or higher traces. Uh, that may take a bit longer. Uh, return 15 fandibles guided by known fandibles. And use type for trace detection twice. So the one high threat or higher fandible is going to be the difficult one here. Uh, it's going to take you a little bit of time. So uh, use trace detection tonics. You should be very good for that. Uh, there seems to be a good number of puking pastels around right now, so that may be your way out of this. Uh, another option, of course, is to uh, triple dark detector and in. Uh, that's very good for getting high fanables. But uh, if it's anywhere like the UK and you're out, you cannot sit still while you're exercising because you're exercising. Uh, you can have a rest if you like doing a run or whatever. But uh, yeah, so I suggest uh, triple dark detectoring in and then just sort of doing loops of the park and um, just to keep moving and then just go around and just pick them up on a slow walk as you go past there. So the general tips, uh, as usual, uh, port keys picked up in part one will have part one rewards, and then any port keys picked up now will have these part two rewards, even if you can't walk them off, uh, say you're just full of like uh, port keys from the event still, uh, the community day event, uh, just make sure you pick up the five you need, and then you can kind of like open up, even after the event is finished, they'll still work. Uh, Error all the owl can be found in fortresses as well as the bonus task. So if you're actually having trouble getting the high foundables, uh, you could actually uh, do a fortress if it's available to you and uh, get Errol that way. Then all you have to do is decide whether you want to go past task 3 uh, by renting a gold cauldron. I personally am not going to rent a gold cauldron because I kind of film an hour each day. So I kind of do one task set a day and I have no need to use the gold golden. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this event. Um, it seems quite nice and straightforward to me. Uh, this is one of the first ones that have been like properly designed to work at home because they're playing catch up with the other ones. Uh, so yeah, I quite enjoyed this. I loved the dialogue in the first part. I think that's the best dialogue, even better than the Christmas one. In my opinion, I think having a good dialogue actually really adds to the game because when you uh, complete a foundable in your brilliant registry and you click on it to get the dialogue you're actually really looking forward to what they're actually going to say because it gives you a bit of connection to those characters that we've not really had connection to for many years uh, so yeah it's quite important i feel personally uh, let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree so until next time brush up on your spells get your ones ready wizards tonight